Helix launched a new line of mattresses, and based on the look of this bed, remind you of a particular designer, you know it's supposed to be their most luxurious model yet. The Helix Midnight Elite. I'm Lauren, editor and mattress embedding expert here at Mattress Nerd. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses, and today we have this one in the sleep lab. I'm gonna run it through a series of geeky tests, go in depth on performance, and of course, give you my pro con list. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. I wanted to start out by letting you all know that Helix sent us this mattress for free to test and review, and we may earn a commission if you decide to buy using the coupon links in the description below. That being said, no one is paying me to give this bed high praise. All of these opinions are my own. So let's start out with the highlights. I'm gonna tell you exactly what to expect should you decide to buy. Now today I am reviewing the Helix Midnight Elite, not to be confused with the Helix Midnight Lux, which is the mid-tier mattress, or the Helix Midnight, which is the baseline model. Now the Elite is gonna ship for free and arrive at your door in two boxes. One box is gonna have the base of the mattress, the other box is gonna have the pillow top. After you assemble it, then you'll have 100 nights to try it out risk-free, followed by a 15-year warranty. If you wanna know more about either of Helix's policies in depth, you can check out our full written review linked in the description. All right, it's time for me to cut this mattress open and unzip the top so we can get a good look at the layers and see how they perform. Doesn't this look like a sandwich? Oh yeah, don't try it at home because it'll void your warranty. Let's start with the top. We have a cool to the touch cover and in this little pillow top here, we also have the brand's proprietary cooling technology. Genuinely does feel cool to the touch, which is always a good sign. Now right here, we have a layer of memory foam that has a medium feel. And then we have a layer of micro coils for some extra bounce, some extra airflow, and some extra support. Next, we have a layer of denser memory foam, which is to help keep you elevated on the mattress surface. Another layer of those micro coils, and then a latex foam blend for some extra bounce and responsiveness. And then a transition layer between the foam and the supportive coils. Now here we have our support layer, which are these pocketed coils. They're individually wrapped for less motion isolation, some extra bounce, breathability, and durability. At Mattress Nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where one is softer than a gummy bear. Now this is supposed to be a medium mattress, but we found that the Helix Midnight Elite is actually a 4.5 out of 10 on our scale, which is medium soft, best for back and side sleepers. This bed has a springy plush feel that just doesn't hit the medium firm mark. But we also wanna see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. So as I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. As I do this, I'm not getting as much bounce as I expected, but it's decent enough to be able to change positions. Um, so I would say that if you're on the lighter side, you're probably better off than if you're on the heavier side if you're a combo sleeper. Now let's talk about how the Helix Midnight Elite is gonna work for each sleeping position, starting with side sleepers. You all need a mattress that relieves pressure from the hips and the shoulders, and the Helix Midnight Elite does that decently well. For all side sleepers, you may see a bit of pressure buildup in the shoulder, so be aware of that if you do have shoulder pain. Now, on to back sleepers. All you folks need is a mattress that maintains the natural S curve of your spine, and again, this bed does that very well for all back sleepers. I would say folks on the heavier side may want something a little firmer to keep those hips and spine a little more elevated. Now, speaking of, onto stomach sleepers, who need a firmer bed to keep the hips elevated and in line with the rest of the spine. Now, obviously, this bed is on the softer side, so it's not gonna be best for really any stomach sleepers. If you sleep with a partner, a pet, or maybe your child, then this is gonna be the test for you, motion isolation. We wanna see that this bed can keep motion on one side of the bed and not transfer across and wake up your partner. So to test this, I placed a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. We're gonna look for the movement in that beaker to see how much motion is transferred. So as I press my hands into the mattress to mimic the feel of tossing and turning, the liquid in the beaker is pretty shaky, but we're gonna test it further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. As I do this, 
the water is shaking just a little bit more. So I would call this average motion isolation. If you're a really light sleeper, you're gonna be disturbed. But if you're not disturbed too easily, then this should be a good option for you. Now let's talk about edge support. Edge support refers to the level of support you get around the perimeter of your mattress. So if you're a senior who needs help getting in and out of bed, if you're an edge of the bed sleeper, or you sleep with a partner and just want some space, edge support is gonna be an important factor for you. Now, when it comes to the Midnight Elite and its edge support, it's definitely subpar. These edges crumple pretty easily as I sit here and they provide adequate support as I lie here. I would say that it needs more reinforcement around the edges. As the brand's top of the line model, the Helix Elite is supposed to be like the Louis Vuitton of Helix beds, so let's check the price. Throughout testing and reviewing hundreds of mattresses, I found that most queen size beds range anywhere from $500 to $3,500. And this mattress hits that ceiling at $3,500 for a queen, which is about as expensive as it gets for beds in a box. But if you love this mattress and you really want to make a purchase, we do have coupons linked in the description below to help you lower that price. All right, we are near the end of this review, so it's time to sum it all up with a pro-con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Helix Midnight Elite. I like to start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, if you're expecting a medium to medium firm mattress like the website promises, you're probably gonna be disappointed because this bed is definitely softer than that. It has a plush feel thanks to that pillow top, so if you are looking for something in that medium to medium firm range, I suggest the Helix Midnight Lux. It'll also save you some money too. Next up, I would not recommend this bed to seniors. The lax edge support and it also doesn't come with white glove delivery. It has two boxes to set up, so just not a great combination. And lastly, even though this mattress is a hybrid with lots of coil layers, it's not as responsive as I would expect it to be. So keep that in mind if you are a combination sleeper or you use your bed for sex but there is some good news, so let's get into the pros. First up, this bed is very cooling, from that cool to the touch cover, to the cooling materials, to the coil layers that allow a lot of airflow through. If you sleep hot, this should be a great option for you. Next up, back sleepers of all sizes should enjoy the comfort layer and the plush pillow top of this mattress. And lastly, despite the edge support, this bed has a pretty durable construction, so if you're looking for something that's gonna last you years, this is it. So bottom line, does this mattress deliver elite luxury? Yes, in a sense that it has a robust profile, a sophisticated look, and a cozy feel, but it does lack in edge support and responsiveness. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.